Hello dear readers, welcome to Nagaland GK channel. In this channel, I'm providing Nagaland general knowledge quiz along with current affairs which is based on multiple choice question. And this channel is exam and for your general knowledge awareness. And also I'm providing general knowledge on Indian polity and administration, economy, Indian geography, history, and general science. And this uh, type of question I will be uploading on daily basis. And for today's video, is based on important question on Indian polity. And this will be more useful for SSC, banking, railways, NDA, CDS, RBI, and even on State Public Service Commission. And for and this video is in set 1. So for today's 30 question answer with explanation. So make sure that if you are new in this channel, please subscribe to the channel. And also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can easily update my videos whenever I upload. So let's get started. So here is the first. So here is the first question. Who was the chairman of the drafting committee of the Constituent Assembly? Option number A, Jawaharlal Nehru. Option number B, Sardar Valbhai Patel. Option number C, B. R. Ambedkar. Option number D, K. M. Munshi. And here the correct answer is. Option number C, that is B. R. Ambedkar, was the chairman of the drafting committee of the Constituent Assembly. And the next question is, how many members of the Constituent Assembly signed the Constitution of India? Option number A, 284. Option number B, 294. Option number C, 274. And option number D, 244. And here the correct answer is option number A. That is, there were 284 members of the Constitution Assembly who signed the Constitution of India. The Constitution was drafted by the Constituent Assembly, which was elected by the elected members of the Provincial Assemblies. And the next question is, who among the following was a non-Congress member of the Constituent Assembly? Option number A, J. B. Geblani. Option number B, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Option number C, K. M. Munshi. And option number D, D. D. Krishnamcharya. And here the correct answer is option number B, that is, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was a non-Congress member of the Constituent Assembly. All of them were from Congress except B. R. Ambedkar. The next question is, how many members were assigned by the Cabinet Mission in Constituent Assembly? Option number A, 300. Option number B, 309. Option number C, 450. And option number D, 296. And here the correct answer is option number D. That is, there were 296 members assigned by cabinet mission in Constituent Assembly. The mission consisted of, consisted of Lord Patrick Lawrence, the Secretary of State for India, uh, Sir Stafford Cripps, President of the Board of Trade, and A.V. Alexander, the First Lord of the Admiralty. And the next question is, what was the duration in the making of Indian Constitution? Option number A. 1 year, 10 months, and 12 days. Option number B, 12 years, 10 months, and 5 days. Option number C, 2 years, 11 months, and 18 days. Option number D, 3 years, 6 months, and 7 days. And here the correct answer is option number C. That is, the Indian constitution is the world longest constitution. At the time of the commencement, the constitution had 395 articles in 22 parts and 8 schedules. It consists of almost 80,000 words and took 2 years 11 months and 18 days to make. And the next question is, which of the following gave the idea of the Constituent Assembly for India? Option number A, Simon Commission. Option number B, Rajaji Formula. Option number C, Cabinet Mission Plan. And option number D, Wevel Plan. And here, the correct answer is option number C, that is, Cabinet Mission Plan. Here, the Cabinet Mission Plan gave the idea of the Constitution, Constituent Assembly for India. In 1946, British Prime Minister Clement Attlee formulated a cabinet mission to India. Rajaji Formula was formulated by C. Rajagopalacharya to solve the political deadlock between All Indian Muslim League and Indian National Congress Wevel Plan. 1945 was talked between these two political parties. And the next question is, the Constitution of India was enacted on 26 November 1949 by the Option number A. Constituent Assembly, option number B, Parliament of India, option number C, President of India, and option number D, British Parliament. And here the correct answer is option number C. That is, 
Constitution of India enacted on 26 November 1949 by President of India and came into force on 26 January 1950. The next question is, when did India Constituent Assembly meet for the first time? Option number A, 26 January 1950. Option number B, 15 August 1947. Option number C, 9 December 1946. And option number D, 19 November 1949. And here, the correct answer is option number C. That is, the first meeting of the Constituent Assembly was held on 9 December 1946. And the next question is, the Constitution of India was completed by which of the following? Option number A, January 26, 1950. Option number B, November 26, 1949. Option number C, February 11, 1948. Option number D, none of the above. And here, the correct answer is option number B. That is, November 26, 1949, Constitution was completed. And the next question is, the proposal for framing of the Constitution of India by an elected Constituent Assembly was made by Option number A, Simon Commission Option number B, Government of India, Act 1935 Option number C, Cripps Mission Option number D, British Cabinet Delegation And here, the correct answer is option number D That is, the proposal for framing of the Constitution of India by an elected Constituent was made by British Cabinet Delegation and the next question is, who of the following has started, stated that the constitution has not been set in a right mold of federalism? Option number A, D.D. Basu. Option number B, K.M. Munshi. Option number C, B.R. Anpetkar. Option number D, A.K. Iyer. And here the correct answer is option number D. That is, A.K. Iyer was a member of the Constituent Assembly of India for Madras State. The next question is, who of the following moved the objective resolution in the Constitution of, in the Constituent Assembly? Option number A, Dr. B. R. Ampedkar. Option number B, Bandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Option number C, Dr. Rajendrana Prasad. Option number D, Dr. C. D. Deshmukh. And here the correct answer is option number B. That is, Bandit Jawaharlal Nehru moved the objective resolution in the Constituent Assembly. And the next question is, the number of members included in the Constitution Drafting Committee was Option number A, 7, Option number B, 9, Option number C, 11, Option number D, 13. And here the correct answer is Option number A, that is 7. The number of members included in the Constitution Drafting Committee was 7. And the next question is, Draft of India Constitution was prepared by Option number A, Sir B. N. Rao, advisor to the Constituent Assembly, option number B. Sir Aldi Krishna Swami Iyer, Chairman Constitution Draft Committee, option number C. Dr. B. R. Ampedkar, Union Law Minister, and option number D. Jawaharlal Nehru, Prime Minister. And here the correct answer is option number A. That is, the correct answer is option number A. And the next question is. Consider the following statement regarding the composition of the Constituent Assembly. Number 1. The representatives were to be elected from the four constituent, Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, and Christian. Number 2. The chairman of the Union Constitution Committee was Sardar Valbhai Patel. And number 3. The total strength of the Constituent Assembly was 389. And number 4. The drafting committee under the chairmanship of Dr. B. R. Anpetkar consisted of eight members. And which of these is all correct? Option number A, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Option number B, 1, 2, and 4. Option number C, 3 only. Option number D, 1 only. And here the correct answer is... The correct answer is option number C. That is, seats allocated to each British province to be decided among the three principal communities, Muslim, Sikh, and General, all except Muslims and Sikh, in proportion to the revelation. The chairman of the Union Constitution, Constitution Committee was Jairu, and the total strength of the Constituent Assembly was to be 389, and drafting committee was consist consisted of seven members. And the next question is, 
which of the following statement about the formation of the constituent assembly is or are correct? And number one is the member of the constituent assembly were chosen on the basis of the provincial election of 1946. Number two, the constitution assembly did not include representatives of the Brinsley states. Number three, the discussion within the constituent assembly were not influenced by opinion expressed by public. And number four, in order to create a sense of collective participation, submission were solicited from the public. And here, to select the correct answer using the code given below. Option number A is one only, option number B, two and three, option number C, three and four, and option number D, one and four. And here, the correct answer is option number D. That is, the formation of the Constituent Assembly includes the following facts. Number one, on the basis of the provincial election of 1946, the members of the Constituent Assembly. Number two, opinions were invited from the public to involve the sense of the mass participation. The next question is, the Constituent Assembly of India con convened to prepare the Constitution of India appointed a subcommittee headed by Gopinath Pardali. And which of the following recommendation was or were met by the committee? Number one is, fifth schedule for the northeast frontier, Assam tribal and excluded areas. Number two, constitution of district council in all autonomous district of Assam. Number three, Six schedule for the northeast frontier, Assam tribals and excluded areas. And number four, the migration of territories in northeast India. And here to select the correct answer using the code given below. And option A is only one. Option B, one, two, and three. Option C, two and three. Option D, only four. And here the correct answer is option number D. That is, the subcommittee headed by Gopinath Parduli was appointed by the Constituent Assembly of India to recommend the future patron of administration of the Northeast Frontier. The next question is, the draft constitution as framed only provides a machinery for the government of the country, and it is not a contrivance to install any particular party in power has been done in some countries. Who should be in power is left to be determined by the people, as it must be, if the system is to satisfy the test of the democracy. The above passage from Constitution Assembly debate is a tribute to option number A, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, option number B, Dr. P. R. Ambedkar, and option number C, Mulana Abdullah Abdul Kalam Azad, and option number D, Archaria J. B. Keblani. And here the correct answer is option number B. That is, on 29 August 1947, the drafting committee was appointed with Dr. B. R. Ambedkar as the chairman along with the six other members assisted by the constitutional advisor. And these members were Bandit Govin Balban, Ban K. M. Munshi, Aladi Krishna Swami Ayer, N. Gobal Swami Ayengar, and B. L. Midler and M. D. Sotala. A draft constitution was prepared by the committee and submitted to the, to the assemblies on 4 November 1947. And this is Ambedkar's second argument rested on the legitimacy of the democracy system. And the next question is, who among the following was not a member of the drafting committee of the constitution of in India? Option number A, B. R. Ambedkar. Option number B, K. M. Munshi. Option number C, Krishna Swami Iyer. Option number D, K. M. K. Gandhi. And here, the correct answer is option number D, that is, the drafting committee for framing the constitution was appointed on 29 August 1947. The committee comprised of a chairman and six other members. The committee members were Dr. P. R. Ambedkar, Chairman, G. M. Munshi Aladdin, Krishna Swami Ayer, N. Kobal Swami Ayankar, and B. L. Midler, M. D. Swatala, and T. B. Kaitan. And the next question is, consider the following statement about the preamble of the constitution and state which of them are correct with the help of give, given codes. Number one is, the objective resolution proposed by Bandit Nehru ultimately become a preamble. Number two, it is, number two is, it is not justifiable in nature. Number three, it cannot be amended. Option number four, uh, number four is, it cannot override a specific provision of the constitution. Option number A is only 1, 2. Option number B, only 1, 2, and 4. Option number C, only 1, 2, and 3. And option number D, only 2, 3, and 4. 
And here the correct answer is option number C. In Keshavandan Paradi 5, the state of Kerala is what laid down by the Supreme Court that the preamble of the Indian constitution is amended only two parts of the preamble which contain basic features could not be amended. And the next question is, the preamble of Indian constitution adopted on 26 November 1949 did not include the terms number one socialist number two secular number three integrity and number four republic select the correct answer from the code given below option number a one two and three option number b two three and four option number c one two and three one two and four and option number d three and four and here the correct answer is option number c that is three words socialist secular and integrity in the preamble of indian constitution were added by 42nd Amendment Act of 1976. And the next question is, who among the following were the members of the drafting committee of the constitution? Option A, Valbhai Badel, Option B, Jawaharlal Nehru, and Option C, Aldi Krishna Swami Iyer, and Option D, Sardar Badel. And here the correct answer is, Option number C, that is, the members of the drafting committee were Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, Chairman, Krishna Swami Ayer, Dr. G. Munshi, and Gobal Swami Ayan Satula, B. L. Midler, and D. B. Kaitan, later in place of Midler and Kaitan, the new members, and Mahadev Rao and D. D. Krishnam Jared joined the committee as members. The next question is here assertion A. The constitution of India has become the longest one. 2. Reason R. The chapter on fundamental right has been borrowed from the model of American constitution. Choose the correct answer using the code given below. Option A is put A and R are correct and R is the correct explanation of A. Number Option number B, put A and R are correct but R is not the correct explanation of A. Option C, A is true but R is false. And option D, A is false but R is true. And here, the correct answer is option number B. That is, both A and R are correct, but R is not correct explanation of A. And the next question is, this is the last question for today's videos. The question is, the idea of preamble has been borrowed in Indian constitution from the constitution of Option A, Italy. Option B, Canada. Option C, France. Option D, USA. And here the correct answer is option number D. That is, the idea of preamble to the Indian Constitution is borrowed from Constitution of United States of America. So, thank you for watching my videos. And if you like and can something from these videos, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. And also don't forget the brace table icon so that you can easily update my videos whenever i upload so see you in the next videos